Good morning. I'm running late, so I'm gonna have to um, just show y'all and talk to y'all after I get there and after I do the class. But I just woke up, I stretched, feeling a little better. I need to start stretching more because your girl is uh, waking up stiff, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there because right now I really should be walking out the door. Hey y'all, what's up? Hopefully the, um, the mount ain't bouncing around too much, but I'm on my way to my first yoga class. I overslept. I don't know why me, somebody who wakes up at like 12 noon and after, decided to take a 10 a.m. yoga class, but that's what we're doing. We're also gonna go to the gym. We're gonna grab ourselves a really nice lunch and we're gonna pick up some groceries because I need groceries as well. I'm not feeling the best right now. And once again, it's just because of circumstances of my life, which is why I got out today and I'm taking care of myself. We're gonna keep this good energy, so I will see y'all when I get to the class. Bye. I'm such a dumbass. Y'all, I went in unprepared, <laughs> but I handled that really well. I just did my first yoga class. You know what's crazy? I had heard people talking about how like people underestimate yoga and they think it's just some ooh and ah. Y'all, so I went to like hot yoga. The temperature in the room was 95 degrees. No, 97. I looked at the thermostat, that shit said 97 degrees. 97 degrees, baby. 97 motherfucking degrees, boo. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to my first yoga class as I just said I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna do a row class because I saw one of those and that's actually um here too right now I'm about to go get kebabs because I already kind of had that on my schedule so first yoga class that was no joke I want to say I love these classes where people are dripping sweat and no one is getting judged y'all like my shit soaked I'm so glad first off this whole sports bra is soaked I'm so glad I didn't plan anything after the class like Oh no, I thought I was gonna go to the library. Well, I go to the library after um, after I go to the gym, cause I can shower there and put on a fresh pair of clothes. I think they're open till, what time is it? One second. Yeah, I could do that. So I was gonna order groceries so I could pick them up later. Go grab lunch cause I'm hungry right now. Go to the gym, go to the library until I could pick up my groceries and then head back home for the day. The yoga class is spectacular. I would actually sign back up they earned that $25 for sure and then they had a new member special like a in-studio thing where it's like 80 for the month and this that and the third so I think I would actually try that out it got me into some stretches that I didn't think I would be able to get into so I'm really proud about that and I could see having the temperature at 97 degrees because it really just stretches out your body instructor was super cool it was great for a beginner class because I didn't know what the was going on I didn't know the name of the poses I didn't know what they were saying i didn't know what she was saying i didn't know half the stuff that was going on but i just kind of like peeped around me on the slide but not to make anybody uncomfortable and i figured it all out which was really cool and i feel like i'm more prepared for next time i was supposed to come 10 minutes early but i overslept and she was gonna show me the studio and all this stuff but honestly i think i got a pretty good grasp of everything and i feel like i got my money's worth that was really it like that was really i get it i get how y'all are into yoga and i could feel my body stretching and now that i'm about to go to the gym and get this workout in i'm like oh I am prepared because I feel like I properly stretched out my body to go do some rigorous activity now. Y'all, I'm telling you, these classes, first off, I understand that classes are a privilege because I was not doing any of this before because I just was focused on survival. Now I'm still focused on survival, but every once in a while, I'm going to do something nice for myself. It's that simple. Oh, they're on a date. That's so cute. Anyways, let me mind my business. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to just do something nice for myself every once in a while because it's at that point. Like, I'm here to better myself. There was a moment where she was in one pose and she's like, this might unlock your emotional chakra and you might cry you could let it out i was like not the class we're crying in that's amazing like such an open space an open-minded space there was a meditation part as well where the music was just playing eyes closed just zen and i feel aligned i'm not gonna lie i woke up pretty upset and stressed this morning i've just been like focused on so many different things so i'm a little stressed out but I think it's so exciting that I'm so curious in life that I'd be doing all these different things. I'd just be doing stuff. Like, I was talking to a friend. They're like, what? You just got your pussy for I was like, yeah, now I'm trying to write a rap music video. <laughs> I'm just doing stuff. So I realized it's important not to let anybody hold you back because people will hold you away from your power. Like, she kept saying that in the class. She's like, find your intention, find your power. You found your power for today. And my power is in coming to y'all maturely and feeling good about myself and letting you know, hey, I could do whatever I want, okay? 
<laughs> I can do whatever I want as long as I don't harm anybody and ain't nobody gonna make me feel bad for being myself, okay? But I wanna go, I'm gonna get food and I'm gonna order groceries when I get to the food place because I do need actual groceries in the fridge and I'm just minding my business. Like yoga was freaking wonderful, seriously. We did like 25 pairs or 25 poses and we did pair poses or something like that. I'm new, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, but yeah 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 that was great everybody was drenched like people were dripping on the floor they had rags and um like things you could wipe with so that was really cool too but yeah they had stuff you could wipe and clean up with um i would highly recommend bringing a water bottle i brought mine but didn't fill it up like an idiot water bottle your own towel but thankfully they had some i could borrow i'm so grateful for that and then a yoga mat because they do rentals but i would actually probably invest in a yoga mat just to have it to stretch at home and take the occasional class so yeah it was lit i'm gonna go the windows are getting foggy i've been in here running my mouth too much but yeah 97 degrees I, they said hot yoga i didn't realize they meant like hot yoga they meant spicy they meant sizzling like that shit Woo, Woo baby mm -mm -mm. and then once i saw that everybody was dripping again and this was the norm i felt more comfortable i sweat very easily i've had people call me out for at the club like oh my gosh are you okay I just sweat really fast and that's why your girl looked this good okay she sweated off <laughs> ain't sweating shit, okay well sweating everything apparently but yeah so everybody was sweating and that made me more comfortable because that was my environment when i strip for the first time when i be at the club your girl be drenched okay like high energy comes with a high price of not looking super cute because everything melts so <laughs> i'm gonna um i'm gonna go to this kebab place and they're so cute oh look at that a happy relationship i'm genuinely not even being better i promise i'm not being funny i'm gonna go to this collab place so i'll see y'all over there all right y'all trying somewhere new today this is lunch we got the rice we got the bread we got the chicken kebabs this is like a creamy cilantro sauce and then i got some french fries as a side my dumb ass did not bring a drink i'm so mad at myself i left the house with nothing to drink but i'm gonna go to the gym and fill up my water bottles so i'm gonna sit and enjoy order these groceries and vibe so i've started to make a schedule for myself first off this is really delicious second of all i'm making a schedule for myself if you love your own company and you love yourself and everything you have to offer there's no reason for anybody to make you feel weird or less than i feel like people keep trying to make me feel inferior maybe that's not the motive who knows but it's very weird anyways i'm gonna start giving myself a work schedule because i do spend a lot of time at home not being shut there's no reason for me to not be at the gym, the library, going out to eat somewhere, like, especially if I have fans treating. Thank you so much, seriously. But there's no reason for it. And then on top of that, to feel like... Oh, well. All right, y'all stepping it up back there. I'll give y'all props. Mmm. I don't have anything to drink, that's insane. Now I want to go to Tropical Smoothie and get a smoothie. But I'm going to actually order, um, I'm going to order groceries and use my smoothie maker at home. Anyways, yeah, there's no reason to feel like that. I had to realize that I had to step back into my power. For real, for real. People will want me and then they have me and they're like, oh, I want something else. Don't do that. Don't do that. I will leave. <laughs> I will leave. Stop playing with me. Anyways, this is lunch. I'm going to go to the gym, get a workout, shower, get clean go to the library have a writing and editing session and then after that pick up my groceries so that's the complete you know that's the complete day but yeah i'm gonna eat i'll talk to y'all later bye what's up y'all i'm at the gym not gonna lie the chicken was kind of mid it was cold and like a little flavorless it tasted like they just cooked it and i had to put the sauce on it for it to be okay but i'm at the gym i'm gonna go edit and just make today a treadmill day and then i'll probably hit the gym back up for actual like you know muscle work okay but right now i'm just want to do treadmill and then i'm gonna go to the library edit whatever i didn't finish at the gym like the gym is a good place that's why i like treadmill i'm able to edit rough drafts if they're loud enough and then i can go to the library where it's quiet and then i can add the music and whatever i need to do and tailor it to perfection there and yeah i'm chilling i'm gonna keep some space um i think my partner's going through some things and i i don't know i just gotta keep an eye on some stuff um or just mind my business and keep space entirely because I, I don't know it's like sometimes when people are mad at the world or mad at themselves they'll turn around and take it out on you i'm guilty of it misplaced anger turning around and taking it on somebody you care about it's a little hurtful and i hate having to be selfish and keep to myself 
and I understand, you know, people go through a hard time. But when I was going through my hard time where your girl's account was in the negatives, okay? When your girl ain't have no vehicle, when your girl was so depressed, she didn't know what to do with herself. Not a soul was there. If anything, things were made worse. So, you know, I'm sorry that people are going through stuff. I know the world's really hard right now, but it's up to you to get you together for real for real if you think about it it's really up to you to do you i can't do you for you so i feel like it's normal to be concerned if somebody's gonna spend time with you the whole week when it's practical just to turn around and have a little come up and then go out to the club wearing cologne on the weekend with the boys and at that point, honestly, I'm in my youth. Like, I want to date. I want to go out. I want to explore new things with new people, if that's the case. And I'm, I'm sorry to share that on the internet. That's just where my head's at. Like, it's hurtful. So, I'm going to cap it off here. Um, I'm going to cap it off here. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I have been heavily thinking about just taking an international break. So, there's about five months left of this lease. I've seen what it's like to live with a partner. Definitely a roller coaster of a year. I was hoping it would be smoother, but like I said, I think it might just be a compatibility thing. I don't know what it is at this point, but um, yeah, it, it sucks to say. It sucks to say what it is, what it is, and I can only give so, so much of myself away because at the end of the day, I have to gather myself back together, my resources, my finances, my mental all of it so i've heavily been thinking about going overseas like that's kind of where my heart's at like a grand new adventure and just being over there maybe grab an airbnb or whatever for a couple months and then because i could work remotely if i could handle like my goal right now just to have the option even if it's for a couple months my goal is i might not even put furniture in the living room <laughs> gets first apartment never furnishes it so that being said because there's only five months left and i'm thinking about this whole international thing i might just try to pay down all my debts get some coin together release whatever materialistic possessions or you know obviously i'm gonna keep my car or park it at my family's or put it in storage and put everything in storage release the material possessions i have try to just get my bills down as much as possible credit cards debt all of it and then just have enough money and go and it's scary. I have a couple friends who are considering and it'd be nicer to do it with a group of friends. But I also know from the past, if your friends don't go, what are you about to do? Are you still going? Are you going to let people hold you back? Even if it's accidentally, even if they mean no harm. So we'll see. But that's where I'm at. And it hurts to like think about leaving everything behind. My relationship, my family, all that. But I think I just need a break. There's a lot going on in the world and I wouldn't be mad at just stepping away from this side of the world for a little bit to go explore some new sides and then come back. Maybe that's where your value is remembered when you're missed, but I don't really want anybody to miss me. This is not something I'm trying to do for like vengeance or revenge or anything. I'm doing it for myself. That's why I've been really considering it, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Clear mind. Okay, yoga. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. Also, y'all, made myself a smoothie. I love this smoothie maker so much. It is kiwi, strawberry, orange juice, yogurt, and ice and sugar. Those are my favorites. It's kiwi, strawberry, but that's how I make it. Anyways, thank you for watching. You see, I'm on my grind, okay? Thank y'all for being here, and I'll see you on another episode. Bye.